Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest has been the go-to writer for R&B's Elite, like Mary J. Blige, Mar uh, Mariah Carey, and Beyonce. Yes, but now he's letting the music do the talking and pinning his own lyrics with a debut album and new single titled Love Angel. Please welcome two-time Grammy Award-winning songwriter, Jonte Austin. Hey. <laughs> Good to see you again. You as well, you right, as well. Right. Good to see you. Hey, superstar. Oh, yeah. How it goes? Hey. Good morning. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Okay, have a seat. All oh, right. Right here's good. That, good. Right here is good. All That's right. right. So <laughs> let's talk about you know some of the hits that you've written and that we all know and love. We belong together, Mariah Carey, mm, yeah. and also Be Without You, Mary J. Mm, Blige. Yes, My goodness, yeah. what is the secret to writing a hit, or is there a secret? Um, I think you just go with your gut. You yeah. Know, it, you know, it sounds kind of cliche to say it, but I think, you know, if you stick with a topic that, that people can relate to, mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, love and, and all of its forms is always, you know, a good place to start. So right. if you stick there and just go with what your gut tells you, it works. Right. Okay, well, you're, you're not only a phenomenal songwriter, but now you're in the forefront doing it on your own, and now you're not that 20 feet from fame that you're, you're, it's you. Right. <laughs> All eyes on you. So how did you make that transformation of being behind the scenes to like being in the spotlight? Well, I had a deal with uh, mm -hmm. with Jermaine Dupri uh, on So So Deaf years back and you know, being an artist and putting an album out was always the, the idea, but you know, the project got, you know, pushed here and then pushed there and then I kind of focused on, mm -hmm. you know, other things, writing and I got into television and, but earlier this year, this project that I've been working on for like the last 10 years, I yeah. decided it was time to put it out. You know, I was thinking, I was thinking in the back, I was like, yeah. you know what, Jante probably has made so much money that he was like, you know, let me just go ahead and do an album. Just Come just, on. Just, just fun of it. Yeah. I mean, is that like the feeling? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> kind of. All yeah. right, so let's talk about uh, R&B. You know, a lot of people are saying, well, R&B is coming back, but there was a time where it felt lost. I felt like, uh, you know, people think that it was like a, almost a lost art because it become like more hip hop. What mm -hmm. are your thoughts on the transformation, using your word again, of R&B and how we're getting back to it, or are we? I think we're definitely getting back to it I, with, with artists like her and mm -hmm. Daniel Caesar, Bruno mm -hmm. Mars. Yes. You're starting to see more, you know, traditional R&B or the R&B that we love. Um, you know, so I'm excited to, I, and I, I wouldn't say it's a transition, it's just kind of a return to form gotcha. because the, the records that they're doing, you know, are records that, that we heard, you know, 10, mm -hmm. 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. I think just the, the funny period for R&B, as I call it, is, you know, just being in that mode of artists wanted to hear their songs in the club, right? right? You know, right. so you could have a ballad. That's like, you know, number one for 13 weeks, mm -hmm. but I'm not in the club. Yeah, so I want to yeah. hear myself in the club, so I want to do something that sounds yeah. like that. Yeah, I'm glad it's know. going back to its, mm. yeah. <laughs> its origin. Because <laughs> you're, you're about to drop your single. Mm. Uh, it's called Love Angel. Yeah, yeah. single's so, out right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I thought it was dropping tomorrow. Okay, no, my the album's bad. tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. And that's uh, Love, Sex, and Religion. That is correct, okay. yes. Hmm. So let me ask you a question. <laughs> yes. As a songwriter and as an artist, how do you choose which songs are for you? and which songs are for another artist? Um, well, this project, you know, kind of had a theme, you know, what I wanted to talk about, you know, and, and be kind of provocative with the love, sex, and religion and how I wanted to blend all those. So it was easy to pick songs for this project. When I'm writing for other people, you know, whatever comes out, it, it's tempting sometimes, right? right? Because you hear it and I'm like, ooh, I might need to hold this one back. <laughs> but I've always tried to keep the mentality um, that I can make another one. Yeah. yeah. So, That's you know, good. when I make something for that artist, it's for that artist and, okay. you know, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not scared to give it away. Yes. Yeah. Well, what about this single in particular? What, what were you thinking while you were creating this single? I wanted to, you know, do something that had the R&B feel. Uh, but that I felt like, you know, honored women and something that, you know, that women could love and, and listen to and feel sexy and feel great. Mm. And, you know, because I think, you know, love is divine, women are divine, and, and that's what the song Love Angel is about. Right. right. I don't want to yeah. talk about the title of, of your album, though, Love, <laughs> Sex, and Religion. Yeah. Can you uh, break that down for me? <laughs> you know, it's, it's really challenging kind of, you know, I guess Americanized themes of, I feel mm -hmm. like love and sex are invented by the creator and then religion is the man-made thing. Hi. Wow. And so the man-made thing has kind of dominated the first two things that, you know, the things that's supposed to be pure and beautiful. And so we're, you know, just kind of blending those things. So I have a song like called Born yes. Again, Making Love to God. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. <laughs> wow, that's okay. That, yeah. That'll make me definitely get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Is there uh -huh. anyone that you have, you know, you've dreamt of collaborating with that you haven't had the opportunity mm. to? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, 
Stevie Wonder, I still. Really? Yeah. Mm. I, w I would like, because I've worked with so many people, right? Like, I got a chance to work with Whitney. Yeah. Um, you know, I've worked with Mariah, Mary Usher. I mean, just so many fantastic people. Lionel Richie. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I would say I would say Stevie. Yeah, uh, that's good. Oh, that's yeah. good. I love that, because like, we've gone away from that whole baby making R&B music. You know, <laughs> right. like, we don't have it anymore. We yes, just don't. Yes. But you know, I've diverted. So, <laughs> <laughs> but you served as the uh, superv supervising um, EP for yeah, the music Star. producer, yeah, yeah. for Star, Star. Yeah. yes. So tell us about that whole experience. Um, it was great working with Lee, um, and, and we worked on, I worked on it for three seasons, so it was, you know, creating music for the show, but also kind of operating in A&R capacity, finding music. I didn't do all of the music, you know, for the show, but I did some, and then I found, you know, the songs and worked with a collective team. Yeah. Know, uh, me and a few other people, yeah. Right, I know you're still writing, though. For absolutely. other people, like, because that's, that money right there is just, that's the legacy. Uh, yeah, man. Abs absolutely, yes. absolutely. I got stuff coming out on Trey and Usher. Yeah. Yes. Uh, some, some, Good. Some more R&B for you guys. Good. Yeah. Shantae, I'm so glad you were born. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> hey. Me too. Me too. I, yes. I appreciate it. We need, we need it back. We just thank you so much yes. for joining us today. I mean, we need people thank like you. you back in the industry. We really do. We, we never left. It. You know? Yeah. Oh, right. my gosh. I appreciate it. Everybody, his album releases everywhere on August 2nd. Yes. Tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow. Yes. And be sure to follow him on Instagram at TheRealJonteAustin. That's, That's right. Me. Give it up for Jonte Austin. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>